Hey everybody, this is Robert with Sigma 3 Survival, and uh, I wanted to show y'all a quick little tip that not too many people know about um, with a plant called Greenbrier. There are several species of it. The one thing you need to look out for with Greenbrier so you don't mistake it for any kind of Canada or Carolina moon seed is the thorns. Uh, the leaves are slightly different and they have, um, they also have different seeds. Um, the great thing about Greenbrier is, is it's not only a medicinal plant, it's also a, a highly edible plant. The tips, um, there isn't any on these, but the new growth tips on um, Greenbrier is uh, really a tasty nibble, and you don't have to pre uh, prepare it, you don't have to do anything to it. You know, you're just walking down the trail and green, you know, you just pick the tips off and eat as you go. Um, I wanted to talk about its medicinal uses because this is something that you won't find in books. Um, it's, um, it's got a mucilaginous type uh, substance to it, which um, kind of creates almost like a gelatin texture. And the reason that that is good is this is kind of God's primitive quick clot. You take this root here and it's, it's jam packed with all kinds of different um, pectins and gelatins and things like that. And you'll dry this out, powderize it and put it in your kit and it will actually um, stop blood flow uh, very well. And another plant that we want to talk about is yarrow. And the way we tell about yarrow is, is it's got almost kind of fern-like leaves, and it's a biennial plant, which means that it, uh, it grows in a lower form early in the year, and later in uh, the next year, it'll grow a flower stalk and reproduce. So you can take this plant and uh, use it topically on all different types of wounds. Um, you know, Ach it's legend is that Achilles used to use it on his warriors in battle to stop bleeding because it's a pretty strong coagulant. Um, another wonderful thing about yarrow is is that it uh, it's got 12 anti-inflammatory agents in it, which is probably more than anything else you're going to find out there. It's uh, widespread. It's all over North America in every single state uh, other than some desertous areas. And you can also take this and powderize it or you can keep it uh, fresh and uh, apply it to wound with some of this uh, greenbrier and mix it all together and put it over a wound and it's highly, highly effective. You know, you don't have to do crazy things, you know, like you see on dual survival and things like that about you know, cauterizing a wound. There's a lot of other ways that you can stop blood flow and uh, also disinfect and kill any antimicrobial type stuff that may have gotten in the wound. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, please drop any commentary or extra information that you might know about. And uh, please help support us by subscribing. We appreciate it and check in for the next video.